Here we're looking at a medial meniscus bucket handle tear that's flipped that we're going to repair with our Nova Stitch Plus. I'm looking at the back side of the meniscus right now. I'm visualizing from my lateral portal. We can see that we've got a nice intact meniscus, and this is an acute tear, so we should be able to repair it. I go ahead and localize my medial portal. I make vertical portals so that if I'm a little low or a little high, I can make a vertical incision and give myself a little bit more travel with my Nova Stitch Plus for repair. We'll go ahead and bring in our probe and reduce this. In this case, we're just going to use the blunt end of the obturator to flip this meniscus back over. Sometimes it requires a nerve hook probe in order to get the turn back as well. And you can see we're pretty tight inside this knee. So to give us access, I'm going to make sure to trephinate my medial collateral ligament. So here I'm just palpating the MCL. I'm going to bring my spinal needle in just above the meniscus and then trephinate the medial collateral ligament as I move up towards the medial epicondyle so that we can gain access to repair this medial meniscus tear. You can see our nice split in the meniscus here. As we lever on the leg and trephinate the medial collateral, this will open up our joint space. And I just do it sequentially enough to allow me to insert the device and no more. And now that I feel like I've got an adequate joint space, we'll go ahead and proceed with repair. I will repair from one end, either posterior or anterior, and leave the central aspect till later. What I found is if I try and repair the central aspect first, then the meniscus just simply flips back into the joint, it doesn't stay reduced. But by getting my posterior horn down or my anterior horn first, then I can just work around the meniscus. So we'll pass our far capsular stitch first. Coming back in carefully, we're going to reach underneath our medial meniscus and go ahead and pass our near stitch. Again, sometimes if the meniscus tear is really unstable, I will pass that medial stitch first and then go ahead and pass my capsular junction stitch. So here we're pushing in as far as we can. You can see we're buckling the meniscus a little, but we're trying to make sure that we get back into that posterior meniscal capsular junction, and then we'll pass our more medial pass. And you can see how that meniscus flips at us. If I were in the central one-third trying a first pass, it would just be inverting the whole time. So now we switch to our lateral portal, for our working portal, visualizing medially. And you can see we're able to get a good pass around the meniscus and in the capsule. And sometimes it takes just a little bit of fidgeting to make sure that you get the lower jaw where you want it for the secondary pass. So here we've got our lower jaw extended. We're going to come up and in and we're going to grasp that meniscus and hold on to it so that it doesn't spit like a watermelon seed from our jaw. So once we've got a nice firm grip, we'll pass that second suture. And then retrieve our tails and go ahead and tie. Now this gives us a nice anatomic repair of a flipped bucket handle tear of the medial meniscus with an all-inside technique.